This is an overview of Flash Extractor's error correcting code viewer. This viewer gives a visual picture of the integrity of a flash dump. Green is good, red is bad, and gray means there's no data in a sector. You can go to the viewer by clicking on the ECC map button. The first menu item is for the address bar. This allows you to view the ECC status of a specific sector. The ECC statistic button will parse the entire image and calculate statistics for the image. This can be helpful for figuring out the integrity of an image. You can also use this button in conjunction with the ECC write back function to emulate the ECC fix functionality. The ECC report button will generate a text file containing the ECC status for each sector in a dump. This can be helpful for writing custom scripts. The Find ECC Error buttons will find the next and previous ECC error relative to the current address location. By default, ECC modification done through the ECC viewer won't modify the dump files. When writeback is enabled, any modifications will be written back to the dump files. The ECC thread count specifies the number of threads used by ECC functions. Typically, the more threads, the faster ECC functions will perform. The type button will validate error correcting code against the data or spare area correction code. Turning ECC mode off will speed up operations in Flash Extractor by not processing error correcting code. This is helpful for string searching or ECC heavy mix steps. Check won't fix ECC errors but will identify them. When ECC fix has been run on a dump file, this can be helpful as it won't include erroneous sectors in the final result, whereas if ECC is off, it will. When ECC is on, error correcting code will be used for all functions. This mode should be used in the final step for saving files unless ECC fix has already been run.